Tip of the day with Ryan. SolidWorks tutorials, smart dimension. What? What is it? Shine. Huh? What is it? I just want to say thank you. That's all. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. This is another SolidWorks tutorials with Ryan, and I'm here to tell you a quick tip about the smart dimensions. Buckle up because the smart dimensions is really smart and easy, so I don't want to make this video very too long. Okay, this feature is located in your sketch tab in SolidWorks and it's responsible for adding angles, length, radius, or diameter, distance, and curve length. Let's just go over them one by one, all of them. First of all, before I go to the sketch tab and choose it, I'm going to show you a small trick. Shall we do that? If you hold the right click on your mouse key and then drag it upward, it will switch to smart dimensions automatically. Now, look, if I just click on a entity, a straight line once, it will show me its uh, total length. Just pay attention. If I go straight up, it will show me the vertical, uh, sorry, the horizontal distance or length of that entity. If I go to the left, it will show me the vertical. And if I go just a little bit inclined, play with it uh, like this, it will show me the inclined length of that uh, line. If I click once, I get to adjust that dimension and change it to whatever I want. So that's how it works for the straight line. If I want to define a uh, define an angle, though, I have different options. I can either choose two lines like this, and then just set the angle between them, or let me just see if I can do this by picking up three points. Shall we do that? One, two. Okay, so two points for now, it thinks I want to adjust, I want to set the distance between these two points. I pick the third one, then it switches to angle, 60 degrees or whatever. Let me just delete this one. Diameter, if you pick a circle, full, full circle, it will switch into diameter mode. If you pick a non-complete, a circle it will switch to radius mode that's easy so this is the diameter you see the symbol next to it I don't I don't want to change it another one this is really good because you need to see my finger this is really good if I pick this point this point and the curve between them it will switch into the curve mode you see the symbol over the dimension and I can change the the length of that curve 70 this one is my favorite because I learned it after years of practicing with SOLIDWORKS. Now you get to learn it from day one, if it's your day one. Uh, if I pick the first circle, obviously it's going to turn into the diameter mode. And if I pick the second circle, then it will change into the distance mode from center to center. Okay? But a lot of times, this is not what you want. A lot of times you want to set the distance, the outer distance between the two circles or the inner distance between the two circles for that matter. So what can we do to change it? I press escape to get rid of these two. Hold the shift on your keyboard. Pick the first circle and pick the second circle. If you pick uh, the inner points of the circles, you get to choose the inner distance of the circles and you can change it as uh, before to vertical, horizontal and incline. And if you pick the outer points of the circle while holding the shift down on your keyboard, you get to choose the outer distance of the circles. You're welcome. So that's uh, another one. If you have a spline and if you click on it once, you can only define its length. That's all you can do for a spline. That was a uh, smart dimension. But before we carry on, there is one feature, sub feature of a small dimension, which is located here. Well, you have two of them. One of them is called horizontal ordinate dimension. The, the other one is vertical uh, ordinate dimension. These two features are very good when you wanna uh, set dimensions on a very odd geometry. And especially when you wanna send it for manufacturing, you don't wanna give the dimension for every broken angle. You just set 
the dimensions horizontally for all the curves, edges, broken entities you have, and you do the same vertically. So the people uh, can measure the distance be between any two points on that geometry. I will show you, it's kind of hard to describe for me. I will start with horizontal ordinate dimension. So you need to set your first uh, zero point. That will be my zero point because this is the furthest on the left. I set it here. And after that, I just pick any points I see along my way. Click on it once. Uh, they don't have to be in, in the right order. It really doesn't matter. And boom, you have it here. You can actually drag and adjust their look a little bit like this. And you can do the same for the vertical one vertical ordinate this is the vertical one first point um, second point third point see it was, it was not in the right order doesn't matter you can pick all of them boom that's also another way of dimensioning an odd geometry in SOLIDWORKS that's one the radius you got it, the angle you got it, the length you got it, the shift technique for the circles you got it. Basically, you got it. All right, that was it. That was a tip for smart dimensions in SOLIDWORKS, the very short video we had. I hope you enjoyed it. This week though, we uploaded a very interesting tutorial on the website, which is about threads, both inner thread and outer thread. And what you learn is the end constraints of the threads because if you just create a spiral in SOLIDWORKS and sweep a profile over it, the ends wouldn't be as you want because you will have sharp edges. So there is a right technique for it that you will learn if you follow this tutorial and it will make you the best of the best. And we uploaded it on the, on the website. Uh, you can go in and sign up to enjoy the tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to the channel or the website, please do so. I will upload weekly tutorials. And if you want me to cover any other topic in these short videos, just let me know in the comment section on YouTube. And I will try to cover that in the simple tip uh, for the next videos. Hope you liked it.